nieces and nephews. This is your Uncle Bill Doobie. I'm going to show you how to build a car for under $5. Yeah, $5. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. How are we going to build a car for under $5? We went to the Dollar Tree and we got a car for a buck. What we want to do is read the directions. First, we want to make sure it's easy to assemble. Children five and up can do it. That means Uncle Bill can do it because he's well over five years old. And I just might learn how to do the directions. I know there's some gluing involved. These little pesky cards that people keep sending you, they are great for when you're gluing. Have that on hand and also some tissue so that you can wipe just in case you have extra. And time to look at the wood shop race car, which is what we're building today. <laughs> this is going to be fun. First, we need to make sure that everything is in here. Ooh, look at that. Here I thought that I'd have to go buy glue. It looks like they gave me glue. I could have done it for a dollar. Here's four wheels. This must be the carriage to the car right here. This looks like part of the body and the other part. Wow, this is big. Okay, so this extends out like that. And this one goes around like this, whoops, like this. So we get them all nice and lined up. Get these guys going too. These are the two side parts to the car. This is, looks like a tail fin. Yep, that's what it is, tail fin. These two will hold up the spoiler in the back and see the precision that they make all this stuff with. And this is our spoiler holder. Two axles and four wheels. Glue the front and rear hood onto the chassis as shown. Be careful not to glue inside the slots of the hoods. In other words, what they're talking about is these slots right here. Now. Uncle Bill has a trick on how to do that, is that you go like this, and it looks like this one runs off the back. This one goes flush to the back, I think. They don't show exactly, but it does look flush. Now the other one is kind of your own call as far as how far to go back. I'm gonna go about this far back, like that and that. And obviously I'm gonna have that turned the other way. Let's even use their glue. Let's see, does it come out? Oh, it does. Isn't that nice? We're just gonna go along this side here. You can see, you can hardly even see the glue now. Doesn't take much. One down, put a little thin layer here too. There is such a thing as too much or too little glue with wood gluing. What you want is a thin glue line. Here we go. Now, a little weight won't hurt. First, we check to make sure that everything is all lined up. Now, I notice that our hood is a little bit skewed off to the side. Use our spoiler for the distance in here. They don't say that in the directions, but it seems to be working. After about a minute, this stuff will start to set up better. 
put our book on top, and a little bit more weight. We will come back in about 20 minutes and do our wheels. Let's see what our results are here. We're gonna take the tape off and the book. And here is our race car. Now I was thinking about when gluing on the axles, which need to be up a little bit, is I don't want to be putting much force on here. So I added, let's see, six times six is what, 36, I think. Here's some pennies to raise our car up off the ground. Now we have the race car up. It's time to put the wheels on and the axles in. Here's one axle, two axles, and glue of the wheel on to each end. I noticed there was a lot of extra space in these wheels, so we're gonna be generous with the glue a little bit. There's one. Let's do the other side. Double your pleasure, double your fun. It's gonna be a race car fun. All right, there's one set of wheels on. It's almost like threading a needle for an old guy like me. You're only as old as you think you are. Can we win a race with this car? We'll see. I'm glad that I did the thing with the pennies. That'll make it so that the wheels, when they are on there, go without putting any force up on the hood or anything like that. We did the wheels. Now we glue all the rest on. It says glue the sideboards each. Okay, we're gonna take the whole thing, lift it up, put a rubber band on it, and then it'll be done after we glue it. So, um, you can almost feel our race car already. It's ready for t racing. Little bit of glue here, little bit of glue here, here, and here. The wider part is at the back. So back, right like that. There's one piece, two pieces. Now we hold it firm with our hands for a little bit. Make sure it's squared off as best as possible. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Green briar in it. It's a good thing I put it that way. Now we can call them up. Time for the rubber bands. One lap around. Rubber bands are always nice to have around for just these type of occasions. You can use dental floss, anything that'll hold the wood in place while you're gluing. Okay. I'm gonna put this thing, the spoiler up front on. We need our pennies because the pennies will hold it up. Think of these like your hydraulic jacks or something. There's a little bit of pressure and it is one, two, three, four, five pennies. Almost put the glue on top of the penny some glue right there and bring this over and push down a little bit hold for a minute uncle bill didn't follow the directions when i was a kid glue the rear spoiler and we're, first we're going to glue the cockpit in as shown then we're going to glue these spoiler supports then the spoiler slide it in underneath the rubber bands
Should have thought more about that spoiler up front when I did this. And let's get that cockpit, right? How does that look to you? Let's take a look on the downward. Okay, I need to go more over this way. And this is how you build a car for under $5. Not only that, this is a racing car because we're going to race it around the track. Fun times, fun times. We don't really have to wait for that cockpit. Supports for the spoiler are all the way out to the back end. I will just take each one of these spoiler struts, I think they're called. Little bead of glue there. Spread it around, put it in place. This wood is very porous, which is nice because it just soaks up that glue and forms a good strong bond. All sorts of fun things you can get at the Dollar Tree. Another bead of glue. Can't you just feel yourself putting on that race car helmet and racing and two more things of glue? When we're all done gluing, what we'll do is leave it alone for another 30 minutes and come back. Now remember, your average five-year-old is not going to be nearly as critical as we are. If you leave them to do it all by themselves, then just make sure to applaud them for whatever progress they make. Even Uncle Bill has a couple of mistakes here. Time's up. Let's find out how well our race car works. Get these rubber bands off. I want to watch out for the spoilers. Ta-da! We have a race car. Woo! Look at that thing go. Axles could be a little bit better. Here's our Greenbrier International Incorporated. All right. Show it over here. Well, there you have it, nieces and nephews. A car for under $5. I kept my promise. Not only that, it's under $2 because you have to include tax. I didn't get it tax free. This kit was only a dollar. We could paint this car. We could put eyes on it. We could, if you're doing it for a girl, you could color it pink. You could have it whatever way you want. The key is to enjoy it. Mistakes can be made. Also, this glue. You got enough glue here for five cars. Yeah, five cars. I hardly used any glue. Make every day this side of the dirt great. Go out there, have some fun. Stay COVID safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.